See now the topic is aerosol. See aerosol, it is a coarse dispersion. See aerosol is a coarse dispersion. See here, what is the meaning of aerosol? Nothing but liquid or solid distributed into the air we can call as a aerosol either liquid or solid can be distributed into the air we can call as a aerosol see different types of aerosols will be there one is <coughs> liquid aerosol see in the liquid aerosol the liquid droplets liquid is a dispersion phase that can be distributed throughout the gas so that can be distributed into the gas that is the gas is a dispersion medium see next one is here also gas is a dispersion medium here the dispersed phase is solid hence we can call it as a powdered aerosols liquid aerosol and powder aerosol next here foam see this is a liquid dispersion medium liquid is a dispersion medium dispersed phase is a gas we can call it as a foam liquid aerosol powder aerosol and the foams these are the different types of aerosols. Next one is very important thing. <coughs> Particle size distribution within the aerosol products. See here. <coughs> See greater than 5 micrometer that can be trapped into the upper airways. See upper airways nothing but mouth, pharynx and larynx. Greater than 5 micrometer particle size particles can be deposited into the mouth, pharynx or larynx. See, if the particle size is 1 to 5 micrometer, that can be distributed into the lower respiratory tract. See, lower respiratory tract, nothing but trachea, branchia and branchioles. See, this is a trachea, branchia and these are the branchioles. In this part, <coughs> 1 to 5 micrometer particle size can be get deposited. Next, in the pulmonary al alveoli, see in the alveoli, nothing but in this region, what is the particle size can be deposited? Means the particle size 1 to 2. See the particle size 1 to 2 that can be deposited into the alveoli. See 2 to 5, 2 to 5 that can be deposited in the trachea, branchia, or branchioles. Next, please, greater than 5 that can be deposited in the upper respiratory tract, that is mouth, pharynx, or larynx. This is about the particle size distribution within the aerosol products. See, next one is operation of the aerosol. See, <clears throat> how this aerosol will, will work means, see, this is a liquid. This is a liquid. That liquid, nothing but here propellant. That propellant is compressed with high pressure. Hence, the particle distance between this propellant is very less. Okay. Hence, propellants are liquid in the within the container. Why means, why means because of high pressure. We have filled these propellants into the container with the high pressure. Because of the high pressures, the propellants are liquid in nature. Once when we have pressured this, once we have pressured this actuator, then what will happen? It means the seal, the seal between this gasket and the stem. This is a stem. And this is a gasket. The seal between the stem and gasket is get opened like this. This is get opened. Then what will happen? The product, whatever the product stored at the high pressure, that can be immediately passed out to the outside. So this is the operation of the aerosol. Just we can actuate the, we can press the actuator. Then this seal will be there. The seal is get opened here. From here, the aerosol product can be come outside. Why the aerosol product is coming means? It will come from the high pressure region, means within the container there is a high pressure will be there that come from the high pressure to the low pressure region. Then the propellants will come to the low pressure region, the propellants will become gas phase. Initially it is in the liquid phase within the container, when it, when it will come outside then it will become gaseous phase. The particle size between the two propellants it will be get increased. Next one is valve. See this is the major thing present in the aerosol is valve. See that valve, what are the different actual metal, uh, 
materials and they are made up what are the different uh, materials will be there in the aerosol products means what are the different parts and those parts made up with say for example actuator is there actuator actuator is a rubber in nature it is made up with polyethylene or polypropylene next one is stem is there this is a stem that is made up with nylon or delrin next gas cut see this gas cut this is rubber in nature see this gas cut is buna n or neoprene rubber next one is <coughs> housing see this is the housing means this entire part we can call as housing the face of this housing is gas, stem gas cut see this housing or also you can call as a wall body that is made up with nylon or delrin next one is next one is spring is there we people already know spring that is made up with stainless steel or inox inox nothing but in oxidizable steel spring is made up with steel next one is mounting cup or ferrule see mounting cup or ferrule see this is entire thing this thing we can call as a mounting cup or the ferrule see that is made up with aluminium or tin that is made up with aluminium or tin or tin next one is dip to dip tube this dip tube dip tube is made up with the polyethylene or polypropylene see this is about the made up of this wall so like this this is another structure just for the proper visualization so this is about the uh, different parts present in the aerosol and their made up material along with the distribution of particle size in the aerosol. Thank you.